Today we're checking out the Hush X from Donner, which is coincidentally what I mutter under my breath every time I get a notification from Twitter. But uh, let's get to it. So I have checked out the Hush Eye before. So you've seen, you maybe you've seen, maybe you haven't seen, uh, my videos on that. And again, really cool little travel guitar that has come in super handy just because of the sheer portability of it. So we'll see what improvements they have made to the next addition, which is the X. So, bear with me as I open this box. <laughs> here we go. Ah, it's one of these, one of these little puzzle boxes here. Oh man. See, this is, this is what I'm talking about. Go Donner, because this is a very, very well-packed box. It just comes in the bag, and I think that's it, right? Ah, oh, easy great unboxing. <laughs> so this is it. First of all, the bag looks a lot nicer. It's a little uh, different color than the old one. Stoked, stoked about this one here. So let's open it up, see what we got, all right? So the bag also looks a little bit wider, which I, oh, love this. So these are the, uh, they've got the accessory pouches in here. Let's go through them. They've got polishing cloth. What do we got here? What is this, baby? Looks like a set of, oh, headphones, monitors actually. Oh, this is, this is nice, this is pretty quality right here. Got these little in-ear monitors with some sizing tips. Got that. The classic Donner tuner, as we've all come to love. This is, man, this might be my favorite thing about the Donner experience is they give you a cable. What other guitar comes with a cable? You have no idea how many times these cables have saved my life. So this right here, uh, we're gonna need these, this little tool kit here, which you'll see in just a second. Donner, create the moment, little packet showing us what, we've, what we're gonna expect. We got the strap here. It's kind of amazing the amount of accessories and then the, uh, the gig bag strap here. The amount of accessories that come with it. Okay, so this is, this is a much more thoughtful design than the first one. So as you'll see, these are the parts that will act as the body frame of the guitar, okay? So, I like how they actually have these in a separate pocket. That's an upgrade from the first one because the first one, the Hush Eye, uh, they're all in the same pocket. So, again, you'll see, see what that means in just a second. So, this is the actual guitar. That's the whole thing. Super cool. Again, really perfect for traveling. I've gone on trips with this before, which is what my other video has been. It's got a little headstock kind of protector in there. There you go. Boom. Love it. The entire gig bag. Let's open this baby up and see what we got. Whew. Oh, I like the body of this. Let me take this piece of paper off here. And there we go. That's the entire guitar, what it breaks down. So, there is a compartment here, which is where the battery goes. Looks like this probably takes a nine volt, is what I'm imagining. And then on the side here, we have a passive or an active mode. That's interesting. That's really cool, actually. And then this is the output that you can output to like a speaker or something like that. Uh, this is, or maybe it's an input from a speaker. Well, I'll. I'll investigate that further. Headphone out, and then just like the guitar amp out. You can see these are the tuners right here uh, because it is a headless design. So you tune it up right here. And then it looks like there's actually like a pickup selector switch. Wow, with a, with a stacked volume knob. So yeah, really cool. Let me, uh, let me show you how this gets assembled real quick. So like I said, there's two pieces and these act as the body of the guitar, right? So we're gonna take this part, and then this just really acts as kind of like a, it just sits on your on your leg here. All right, so here's the stand right here. This mechanism kind of pulls down. So what you want to do, let's see how you do this. So you pull it down, and there you go. It clicks in, locks into place. This is actually a lot better because the other one you had little screws that would come into the body and you have to screw it in here. But yeah, that's, that's solid. So I'm assuming it's the exact same thing with the upper part right here. That looks that looks correct, does it not? All right, so let's pull that back, pop it in. Oh my gosh, 
This is, I, I can't stress how much easier this is than the original, uh, the original design. Okay, and then you can fix that. Sweet, I love it. All right, so let me, uh, let me tune this up and let's hear what it sounds like. All right, so I got it all tuned up and plugged into a practice amp here. So real quick, if you've never used a tuning like this, basically you just move this knob up and down to tune it. You actually don't need the tools, like you, you can use the, the wrench to put in the end here, but honestly, I can just use my fingers. They have grips on them, so they're easy enough to tune just down here. Uh, but yeah, everything is contained within just the pieces, so you don't have little screws like you did in the first Hosh. But we're just gonna go through the controls real quick, and then I will mic this up properly and do a, a piece of music. But, I mean, it sounds great. So I put a nine volt battery in there. Uh, when you push the button in, it goes to the active section. Right, so if I didn't have the nine volt battery, you wouldn't hear anything from here. And then, passive. So, really cool, and there's not like a huge volume discrepancy between active and passive mode, which is nice. But we also have a three-way selector right here, right? So, we're gonna be in passive mode right here, and then this is the neck pickup. interesting right that's kind of spanky right because you have the the single and then the humbucker and the bridge here's the bridge I'm always in I'm always a neck guy right with this and then the last thing I want to talk about just the uh, the way this is set up is the stacked knob right here so the bottom knob is volume right huh? and then the stacked knob on top is tone so you can tell tone off all the way off So, really cool way that they did this is just to kind of save space on the actual body of the guitar. So. Again, a uh, much improved upgrade as far as just the overall construction of this from the Hush Eye. The Hush Eye is really cool too, but this is for sure a step up. Uh, mostly just because I like, I like the way that the hardware is, and I think it just looks sharper with uh, the wood top here. So. Why don't I mic this up properly, and then we'll kind of hear how it sounds just as a recording guitar. I mean, I'm very impressed with how silent active mode is, right? And I don't know if you can hear it with these microphones right now, but active, passive. That's like actually really, even in passive mode. Active, really, really silent quiet guitar, so great job on that, let's mic it out.
we have it. The first, the rhythm track was amped and mic'd through my Super Black Magic, and then the lead track is just direct in with the uh, the passive actually switch on. Right. So really cool, really cool piece of gear if you're looking for something portable to travel with. Uh, last thing I'll say. So this is just unplugged. This is about how much sound it makes unplugged. Right. Which, in my travel experience, whenever I bring a, a guitar like this, I actually end up playing it unplugged most of the time and just kind of... Just kind of running through like little exercises. Like if you're in a hotel room, that is not gonna bother anybody. So it's cool having just like a, a full length scale at your disposal. So even though it is much smaller and it breaks down into like a really, really small footprint it's still a real guitar which i think is important when you're kind of going somewhere maybe you're going on a trip or something you just have something to practice that actually feels like a real fretboard and you also have like a really a really versatile kind of palette of uh, sounds you can choose from from a recording standpoint so thank you to donner for sponsoring the video sending this over if you have any questions or comments hit me up in the comment section instagram or the website i'll talk to you all soon